Rebecca! Is she upstairs? Before we take care of this, let's quickly go see if we can save Rebecca. We're going for the good ending, so we need to do this. If you don't come to her in time, she will die. If you're going for the bad ending, this is one of those points that decide it. All right, there's no doorknob. Chris, stop it. Okay. <laughs> I believe, yeah, in fact, not, not even believe, I remember pretty certainly that she's in this room over here. Let's do it. Now the scene of her acting all defenseless, I don't quite understand, and I'll explain after the scene. Rebecca. Chris! You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. I actually meant to talk to Rebecca again, but well, I guess, what do I know? I'm gonna do a loop around, she's gonna be like, gone from that room, I'm gonna be like, oh, oh my. So what confuses me about that scene is why is she acting so defenseless and scared of seeing a hunter? Oh, actually, she still is here. But the reason why that confuses me is because in Resident Evil Zero, she fights a number of hunters. And she was fully loaded at the end of that game. Apparently, she just threw all of her weapons away and ended up here. And doesn't know how to fight a hunter. Or know how to use a door. <sighs> Anyways. I didn't mean to get you worried. Rebecca has a relieved look on her face. Okay, that didn't really sound relieved, but what do I know? Let's go the way we go. So now that we're done saving Rebecca, one of the points where you can change what fate you're gonna get and yada yada. Let's do what we need to do in this room. It's so dark in here. I hope there's a light switch. I'm gonna have to turn the lamp on. It's too dark to see anything. There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. There you go. The lights are on. A collection of thick thumbs. There's books on everything from genetics to st or statecraft. I almost thought I said starcraft. Uh, anyways, we take the metal object, yes, and not, not the map. Surprise! It combines with this. Really unsurprisingly so. Now, is there anything else I need in here? Oh, will I take the shotgun shells? I guess I will. I'll also combine them. Alright, nine extra shotgun shells. The contents are still intact. Maybe no one's been in here. Like, maybe, dude. Biology related. I sure there's something else hidden in here. I guess maybe I. Yeah, here we go. There it was. Last grenade. So I've done everything I need to do in the mansion. I have 100% everything in the mansion. Courtyard. Apparently there was something I missed in that tunnel. Oh well, I'm not gonna 100% the game this round. That's all right. I'm close. Now before we, actually I don't need to go to the save room, right? Oh, well, I'll just take this route, it's a little nicer, anyways.
I'm fine. Fastest way to return to where I'm going to is this way. So many twists and turns. Truly, we've become very familiar with the mansion through the course of this game. But it's time for us to say goodbye. Wipe those tears away because the mansion doesn't have any feelings. In fact, if anything, it's trying to kill us. Really trying to kill us. You see how many traps there's been? How many monsters is thrown at us? All the secret, dark, whatever gruesome laboratory shit's been going on in here? But still, you have to have a sense of appreciation for the mansion. It's a very iconic horror with location for the very reason that it's so gruesome and twisted. Use one of these. That's one. Yeah, the same about the other indentation. Will you take the stone mill object? No. That's two. There we go. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it? Yes. It's an old typewriter. If I had ink ribbon, I could save my progress. However, though, I'm being Mr. Risky McGee over here. I think I can do this. Maybe I should save. I do have enough. No time like the present. Open that. You know, what the hell, I'll save. I never know. Maybe the game will crash or something. I don't think I'm going to die, but you never know what might happen. Save my progress. Bro progress. Save my progress. End up in here. I'll save there for the moment. Good me. Let's open this back up. Alright, so we're going to be finally making it down here into the abyss. All the twists and turns in the caves that uh, reflect ourselves and what we're trying to even get to. I choose the bottom of the stairwell. For some reason this reminds me of a sequence from Resident Evil 5. Random, I know. Uh, let's go through here. Speaking of which, I'm excited for when Resident Evil 5 gets its gold edition content unreleased. Which I mean that will be I'll have the content from the gold edition on the Steam version, and it'll be removed with Games for Windows Live. That hasn't happened yet as of the recording of this video, but it's gonna happen soon. Okay. I'll follow this decrepit Wait! Wait! I remember! I remember something! I had a flashback, a memory of the last time I played this. I know something else which I need besides the things I'm carrying, or else I'm gonna have to return all the way back here in a little bit. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm so grateful I remember right now. That would have been nice if I remembered when I was still over here, but at least I remember now instead of later. Ah, oh, that's such a cruel move of the game. You need to get the two medallions, the wolf and the eagle medallion. If you don't remember to pick them up, you're just going to have to come back here in just a little bit anyway, so that's not an item box. Because there's no, there's no item box besides the closest item box you can get to is right here, so... Need to pick up the... That medallion. And this medallion. Alright, there we go, I remembered. It all came back to me at the last second here. Because there's no item box between here and there, and after I'm done taking care of the next sequence, I'm gonna need those two medallions. I'm a little bit happy I remembered right now instead of a little bit later, but what are you gonna do? Right? Let's go. Well, I'm about ready to take on anything. By anything, that means, of course, a monster this game has been building up for a while, so... Down the hatch. You're a bit of a mess-up. Chris, take a piece of the action.
See, she was easy. You just have to push off the rocks. Well, that's a depressing achievement. Anyways, there's something in this or a sarcophagus. I guess I can also talk to Wesker. Hello, Wesker. I'll investigate this area a little further. Does Wesker just enjoy awkward phrases? Jill, no. Don't open that door. What was the thing he said earlier? Anyways, I don't remember. He said some other things earlier as well, so... Wesco's got this place covered. Better just hurry on ahead. So you think. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shot, mommy's, uh, mommy's can't think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, they're all starting to disappear into a somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now, so that I can hold you onto our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we get to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that can be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967, Jessica Trevor. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. All right, on to the next. That's where I can be very grateful, actually. Remember to grab onto those two medallions. Wow. So now we're in the final area. There's a large iron door. We'll budge of the mansion. After this, there will be no more mansion for us. Circular depression, there's a wolf-shaped emblem carved inside. Guess what that's for? You got it, wolf emblem. Let's go over to the other side. The other thing in need is you. A circular depression, there's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. Eagle! It's time to do the final thing in this game. The final location, countdown, whatever you want to call it. It's right down here. <laughs> Let us enter into the final location of the first Resident Evil game, the laboratories. Use the elevator, always. Okay, I have some nervousness about this area, but thankfully I remember a few things that are going to make this a lot easier than when I did this with Jill. Fucking A, I forgot how to do so much in here, but now I've got a pretty good memory of what we did last time. The sign reads, Will not open unless in first class emergency. That's quite the warning. So we need a first class emergency to open up that door. Keep that in mind. Okay, first of all, some ink ribbons. That's our ink ribbon collection. I will take the ink ribbons. Thank you very much for asking. There's other things I'm picking up, too. Actually, I'm going to be doing a few things pretty quickly. 
Hanging magazines. Where are those ink ribbons I'm looking for? There they are. I was gonna take out the fuel canteen. I got some bodies to burn. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. No, I will not use the ink ribbon yet because I first need to equip this. I don't have confidence in my ability to get out of here before all the crimson heads start rising from the graves. So I'm gonna try and uh, get some things taken care of before we get really deep into this. There's a fuel can I've never even used in this. Is he dead dead? Yeah, he is dead dead. I can burn his corpse now. Not necessary. It's completely necessary to use this now. They have more health than your typical zombie, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, that was fortunate. Of course, you're not dead dead yet. Use this. Burn this first by. They're not close enough together that they'll both burn together, though. It's actually an achievement to do that. I should aim for it. Use this back off. Refuel that fuel canister. Of course. So play kerosene left for fuel. You refilled your fuel canteen with kerosene. Fun. Actually I don't need to put anything away yet. First, go to use an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes. Right there. And life is fine. I do not want to save my ink. Uh, just, okay, so let's put this back in here. Ink ribbons be put away. Probably. Do I need a shotgun anytime soon? Probably not. Oh, it's a little bit risky to go in without one. Actually, maybe yes, because of all those monsters, right? Assault shotgun. I'll keep the fuel canteen on me a little bit longer, though. I need to put it away pretty soon because there's a lot of stuff I need to pick up. But first, I need to take care of all the zombies that are coming through. They're here to fight for me and you. And thankfully this area has been cleared of bodies because of reasons. I'll wait for them to pick up that green herb because it's on the way to a few things. I've got my pockets already mostly full as it is. Will you take the MO disc? I'll come back here when I go back for the other things. Part of the desk is covered that appears to be some kind of acid. It's locked electronically. My first job is to eliminate all the zombies that are around here. See if I can burn the bitches. dead. Oh, he is dead dead. That was a very weak zombie. I'm going to try and see if I can get an achievement here, because if you can get burn two bodies with one uh, kerosene thing, that actually counts for an achievement. Oh, that doesn't count. Maybe, maybe it does. Here's hoping this counts. I'm unlucky. It's locked. Someone resembling the power of something is carved. Power something or another, table's been neglected. Here is a stabbing dagger. Oh, 
Okay, easy enough. I know the last thing which I'm gonna take care of right now. That's locked. That's a power handle. The only door that's gonna be open is this one. I know the things to type in. Alright. There's another zombie in here, I know that. Where is the zombie? I know there's another one here. Chemicals I've never seen before. I'm sure you guys saw the shiny. It's a flash grenade! The carnivores are frozen, wrapped in body bags. That's unfortunate for them, isn't it? I think there's something else in here. Oh well, I forget exactly what. Let's do the stuff I know how to do. There's a book here, I think. V Act researchers notes. There's now evidence that their host loses consciousness. The body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutate into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transform or transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. After four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath ever since the tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call it the kind Crimson Hands. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left alone. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decide to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the back or the back here cemetery. Now I actually remember the passwords here. The username is John. The password is Ada. This is reference to Resident Evil 1 or 2. Uh, and password and I enter password. Isn't the password for this one Cage? Actually, I remember that there was an Easter egg or something involving Mole. Waka. <laughs> there it was! If you just get the password wrong, it doesn't make a noise. That's what it usually makes, but if you type in the password as being Mole, I remembered it, I'm, happy, I'm so happy I remembered. One more time! Okay, now I do actually know the password off the top of my head. It was Cage. No match, really? No, that's all that. I swear the password was Cage. I'm remembering Ron. I thought it was Cage though for certain. Really? Or maybe wait. Maybe I need to cancel quit, yes. Maybe I log in as John and then Cage. Maybe the password is Cage here? Log in correct. Well, apparently I wasn't streaming for the longest time. So, hip hip hooray. So, thankfully you guys didn't miss too much. Um, I guess I can show you a quick room. I read a note. This basically looks this looks like a GameCube in the original game, but not in the final one. So, yeah. So here's all I really did since uh, we lost contact. I picked up a note. Researcher's letter. I didn't read this in the original Let's Play, so I'll read it here. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have you to become one of them. 
As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a, de or a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person to remain alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If anything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement, level 2, where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into the X-ray picture, right? or I guess uh, Rontagram? I, I can't talk for the life of me. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put out of me of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Beta. Yours truly, John. And when I looked at it originally, Chris just said, John, Ada. Now, of course, those two are from Resident Evil 2, and that's how I was supposed to figure out the password. Now I know. I'll also pick this up on the neighborhood. Yes, I'll show the room that came out of, because I almost always miss it. Okay, yeah, handgun magazine bullets. The sink is full of empty test tubes. You don't say. So for some reason, for the longest time, I didn't realize this room was right here. It doesn't look like a door at times. So, I mean, it looks like a door, but it's so easy to miss when you rely on such a small screen. I didn't even realize this room was here. Now there's these x-ray pictures, but we can't really use the x-ray stuff right now. I don't really need to, though I could have really wanted to. Essentially, you'd have to put the x-rays up on this x-ray screen, and you could probably figure out the password cell from that. Let's go on out. Hmm. Let's do our work. To the top. Now I need to stuff a lot of items away inside my item box for a moment here, so that's going to be my first line of action. Then there's going to be a number of things I have to pick up. Let's do things one step at a time. Start off with you. Yes, it's you I want to mess with. First of all, stuff the canteen away. I don't need the shotgun quite yet. I don't need this medical item quite yet. I do need everything else, I think, though. I'm going to try and use the rest of my handgun bullets to this next sequence because that's the stuff I kind of need to get rid of. Alright, let's do what I can do. I'll pick that up if it turns out I need it, but first, going through here. We open up this door and there's a few things in here I need to pick up, I remember. There's a shiny right there. I'll pick it up. Want to take the ammo disc? Sure, it's one of the ammo discs I need to pick up anyways. A passcode entry terminal. Use it? Not yet, I don't know the password yet. There's a map of the laboratory. Take it? Yes. Laboratory map a go go. You got the map of the map, or the map of the laboratory. I almost said it fucking backwards. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for ex or executives. Ah, talking. Use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergency. Uh, basement level 2. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arvane, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison san or sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, hmm, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entering into this room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researcher's deactivation or deactivates the lock. Power room in this room and in, in, in this room nitro compound is used as the primary fuel f uh, source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. 
Haskell output terminal. Using access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Basement level four. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T virus, legible thereafter. All right, the auto visual materials are filled neatly away. It doesn't appear to be anything important except for the map that we just picked up. So of course. Here's a projector. I'll use it in a moment. First, I want to go watch a movie. If I can. Apparently not yet. Okay, I'll have to hold off for that. First need to go look at this then. The film has been sent into place. View it? Yes. Umbrella. Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. MA-39 Cerebus. F-103 Neptune. MA-121 Hunter TO-2 Tyrant Bioorganic Weapons Research Group Development Staff Someone looks a little familiar A passcode I use this Umbrella Bioorganic Weapons Research Report Eight four six two. All right. Eight four six two. The password terminal is over here, I believe. Right there. Passcode. I think it was eight four six two. There we go. That's the passcode. Don't wear it out. <laughs> All right. Let's actually see what's in here then. Hey, will you take the laboratory key? Yeah, of course. Let's also observe that. An electrical symbols imprinted on it. There's nothing unusual. Key for the power area. Got it. Anything else in here? No. I guess they got rid of all the other uh, the ammo they can get in here because of the difficulty. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Alright, let's see the final moments of Kenneth. <laughs> We can watch that as many times as we want. Well, anyways, we took care of that. There's just a few other things we need to look through. He did suck, uh, suck at shooting. Then again, I guess he was trying to record a movie at the same time as shooting, so maybe that had a little bit something to do with it. Hello there, you. I'll take the green herb. Yes. Alright. The door is here. A few things to determine. I don't actually need this green herb right now. What else I don't need? I actually do need to get the last MO disc, which I think was at the very top, actually. There you are. Alright, gun ammo reloaded. I'm trying to use all my handgun bullets before I go off and use other things, so. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this to it. It's time for this to get a lot trickier than what we've been doing so far. Just get a little bit prepared for that. Uh, actually, no, not, not quite the time to say that. There's a few things that we need to do first. We go down here and take care of the first potential. Through here. You're the door I'm looking for. See? Congratulations, we found the door. This where I need to put those three discs I've been collecting in. I forget if I, have to, if I can put them all in at once or if I have to do them at separate times. Let's use. Transmitting the Pasco seems to have unlocked something. But we have more to do. A lot more to do, actually. 